اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و حلل اقتتم من لسانی یفقه قولی اللہم ارین الحق حقا ورزقن اتباع و ارین الباطل باطلا ورزقن اجتنابا ربنا آتنا من لدنک رحمتا و حیئ لنا من امرنا رشدا رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و حلل اقتتم من لسانی یفقه قولی Alhamdulillah, this is uh, a series of lectures uh, that we have started every Friday. Uh, it happens in Islamabad and we allow uh, public uh, to join this lecture. So initially we are allowing uh, a few people later on uh, as the time is passing and more and more episodes are be, uh, being recorded, uh, more, or more and more people are being welcomed. Uh, so if anyone uh, of you want to bring your friends, you can bring your friends with you. And if anyone from our online audience wants to join this lecture, they can go to awaysnaseer.com slash join. awaysnaseer.com slash join, you can join over there. But this lecture is in English. For Urdu lectures, uh, you can also cho choose other options from the same link that is awaysnaseer.com slash join so uh, basically the thing is uh, we are living uh, in a world that is the creator of this world has created beautiful perfect beings Be beautiful perfect machines that have wonderful brains such wonderful brains that they can create artificial intelligence the machines created by these brains can think on themselves these beautiful beings called humans are such a wonderful creation that that you if you ponder over this fact that what a wonderful creation these are, you keep on getting surprised over and over and over again. You are a machine that can, that can reproduce itself. You can clone yourself. You are a machine that does not require electricity to run. You produce your fuel on your own. You are a machine that, you, that creates its own housing. It's a machine that runs its environment. And, and the ecosystem Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator has put this machine in is also very wonderful. Crops, you only have to do very little effort but the crops grow automatically the foods the food is grown automatically from ground and have you ever noticed that no matter how many times you grow a crop from the same soil you produce tons of food from the same soil but the amount of soil does not reduce you get tons of wheat from the same field where does that wheat come from it comes from soil but the soil doesn't reduce when it is hot enough this ecosystem starts showering water from the skies everything is a wonderful creation but unfortunately for so long this beautiful ecosystem this beauty these beautiful beings are at the hands of hyenas are at the hands of murderers are at the hands of the worst people the same machine that is beautifully designed beautifully created is being killed by the oppressors the child as soon as is born is being killed or slaughtered in several parts of the world. 
This beautiful world and beautiful land is dark and black and bleak. This beautiful land is contaminated with the worst things. There is oppression everywhere. There is injustice everywhere. The people you put in charge of your affairs start looting you. They show off their coffee mugs. They show off their golden seats. They show off their, their palaces. They wear suits worth millions of dollars and show off to you and they spit on your faces. They spit at the faces of the child that is born and that child dies at the naked floor of a hospital that happens everywhere around the world. These worst people start wars all around the world to kill innocent children, to loot money from others. Everything is messed up because of the worst people who are handling this beautiful ecosystem, who are at the charge of these beautiful beings. This needs to be changed. This, do you understand? This needs to be changed. Why, why a few people are having luxurious lives? while others are dying very painful and pitiful deaths. Why? This needs to be changed. This happened because of the worst capitalist system. This happened because of the democratic system me and you are living in. This happened because of the lies that were told to us that if you get a degree, you would get a good job. You were told that the doctors are made to serve when actually they are, they are there to slaughter you. You are told that you need Coca-Cola to have a better lifestyle. You are told that you need a costly toothpaste all over the media, everywhere you see things that are wrongly portrayed. You are told that your girls, your daughters, your sisters have to be naked and on the big billboards to, so, so that you can have a modern society. Don't you think this needs to be changed? Everything is wrong around, about this world. This needs to be replaced with something that must be as beautiful as this beautiful being as this these human beings that are as beautiful as perfectly made why can't the whole system be as beautiful the system of rainfall the system of summer and winter the system of crops the system within you everything is perfectly made farjir al basara hal tara min futur Allah says, raise your eyes. Do you see any shortcoming? Keep on raising your eyes, keep on looking around, keep on exploring. Your eyes, your sight will return to you failed, failed and done. And you won't find any shortcoming in the system created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The stars in the skies, the galaxies in the skies, the clouds in the skies, the earth the system of rainfall, the mountains, the plains, the rivers, the oceans, the animals, the humans, everything is perfectly created. This is a perfectly created ecosystem. This has the perfectly created beings. 
the only problem is created by these beings by trusting not the creator but others other than the creators other than the creator the alone allah subhanahu wa ta'ala zahar al fasadu fil barri wal bahri bima kasabat aydin nas everything that is wrong in the seas everything that is wrong on the on the dry land everything that is wrong in the mountains everything that is wrong on the oceans everything that is wrong in the hospital system everything that is wrong in the education system everything that is wrong in the government system everything that is wrong with the business system everything that is wrong everywhere zahar al fasadu fil barri wal bahri bima kasabat aydin nas because the humans earned it humans made everything bad human dis humans destroyed everything everything is cursed and destroyed because of the bad deeds of the human beings so this needs to be fixed how would it be fixed it would be fixed when these beautiful beings start trusting their creator first they think first they have to be thankful to the creator that they are created perfect then they need to trust the creator for the for for the system as well then the creator will tell you that there is a system when everything would be perfect why would a poor laborer why does a poor man need to pay taxes when buying bread why do you need to pay a few rupees to the government when you go out to buy a soap why do you need to pay some money when you are refueling your motorbike or car why does government snatch your money everywhere why this needs to be changed the system of the creator tells you don't need to pay taxes you need you don't need to pay up an amount while buying bread you don't need to pay an amount while buying soap you don't need to pay the government while refueling your car you know don't need to pay the government while paying the rent of your house the system of taxes is not for the muslims according to the system created by the creator allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these taxes even even easier taxes these are even worse by the standards created by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the non muslims taxes are for the non muslims the government if the government is of muslims the taxes would be paid by non muslims only even then the taxes the tax system would not be such such oppressive only a few percentage of their income or their profits every year they would pay to the islamic government but muslims won't pay taxes Muslims would only pay zakat or usher and so on and zakat is you know paid either on the value of the money of of, of the uh, either from your savings fine but the point is you don't pay zakat on every transaction you only pay zakat either from your savings or from uh from the things you trade so this is not an oppressive system after all of your expenses if you have saved enough that you are considered rich only then you would pay zakat otherwise you are exempted you won't pay a penny look what a wonderful system if you start implementing this system in one place even in a small town i challenge you the whole world will drool to do business in that trade in that town everyone would be coming from all over the world to do business in that
town because they won't have to pay taxes they would only pay taxes when they have enough profits even the non-muslims would be coming because they would have to, to pay the taxes that won't be as oppressive as the current system it's too bad that you have to pay a small chunk to the government from everything you do from every transaction you do it is too bad it is very 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 oppressive this is only one thing the government the system of the government that would be that won't be dealt by the person chosen by the humans because what would happen if you let a classroom choose their leader or a, a what do you call it uh, CR they would pick the naughtiest class fellow they would pick the person that would be that would let them do enough mischief obviously they won't pick the person that is that would let them study the best they would pick the one that is that would let them the miss like lose most of the times similar is the case what would happen if you let the people pick their leader they would they won't be able to pick the perfect person they would see small things and forget the bigger picture so in such a system that is created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is an authorized dealer only that authorized dealer deals with the humans and that authorized dealer is called Khalifatullah that authorized dealer is called Khalifa means assigned person authorized dealer so authorized dealer only the authorized dealer is allowed to deal the human beings and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator knows who can be the authorized dealer that has enough knowledge that has enough authority from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the right decisions for the people and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides such a person and in coming times that would be Imamul Mahdi so my point is that the world right now is dark and black and bleak and it is oppressed from every perspective we are being looted and oppressed and slaughtered all around the world and the basic reason for that is because we are not trusting the creator for the whole system for the system of the government for the system of the economy for the health system for the education system everything we need to trust the creator when we start trusting the creator then only then creator would send his authorized dealer to let the whole system run very smoothly and then there will be a system of justice and then there will be a system of peace and according to the things told by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when the time comes the true authorized dealer Khalifatullah fil arz al-imam al-mahdi would be here then Allah would also make the ecosystem even better there would be no oppressed person there would be no unhealthy system there, the sky would shower all of its rains and the earth would make all of the crops pop out everyone would be prosperous everyone would be happy there would be no depression there would be no anxiety there would be no oppression there would be peace all around the world because the creator would also be happy that his authorized person has been appointed and accepted by the beings created by the creator i hope i'm making sense inshallah may all of us pray that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the companions of Imam al Mahdi, that would be the Khalifatullah fil Arz. And this is the time that it has been enough oppression, enough pain. This is the time we all start prostrating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, start making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, we had enough. Oh Allah, we had enough pain. Oh Allah, we had been we have been oppressed for so long. Oh Allah. We are, we, we bow to you 
and we submit ourselves to you and we accept whoever you send as your authorized dealer as your khalifatullahi fil arz o oh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the companions and o oh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us helpers of that person to establish khilafa on allah's earth and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala start this from our holy land of pakistan aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lil muslimat wal mu'minat if you have any questions you can have